hey guys welcome back to my channel it's the makeup of Moni I'm back with another Valentine's Day look just in time I was coming through with a little bit of traditional Valentine's Day makeup with a little bit of a twist on it kind of a smoky eye you know giving you that romantic look but that sexy look but that I didn't try look but I tried look okay y'all the Y'all know what I'm talking about. If I didn't mention already, I'm doing a collab with my cousin, the Alicia C. Definitely head over to her channel to check out her Valentine's Day looks. They are absolutely gorgeous. And subscribe to her channel, like her videos, definitely leave a comment, and make sure you show her mad love. We put in a lot of work with this collab. Okay, I'ma stop talking and get into this tutorial. So if you wanna see how I get this look, Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm starting off with my brows already done as usual and I'm digging into my Jaclyn Hill palette into that color I just showed you and that's just going to be my first transition color on my lid. Digging into that cocoa color, I'm going to take a more dense tip brush and just put it in my crease, dragging it out a little. Reaching into the color next to the one I just used, I'm going to take that and pat it in the outer corner of my eye and drag it up to meet and blend the top color, but I don't want to put it all the way on my lid because we're going to put a different color there. Taking that nudish tan color, I'm going to put that in the center of my lid. Taking that same palette, I'm going to dig into that chocolate brown color with an angle line brush and just add it to the top lash line. Um, this is just to give it that smoky effect. After using those two colors to smoke out my lid, I'm just taking that crease brush that I use and blending everything out. Taking my NYX Black Matte Liner, I'm just going to add a simple wing, but remember to pull out the liner into your inner corner. Using black eyeshadow, I'm just going to smoke it out right above that line. And this gives it like a sultry, sensual look. After those steps, this is what your eye look should look like. Here I'm just lightening up the middle of my lid in case the smokiness overshadowed it. Anytime I apply my foundation, I always go in with a brush first and then I blend it out with a beauty blender because it makes it look less cakey. After setting the places where I put concealer with some luxury setting powder, 
I went in with some dark powder to contour my face. Now I'm just taking some foundation powder and wiping away anywhere that I have setting powder. For this step, you can use whatever bronzer you want, but I'm just bronzing up my face, which adds like some life back into my face, some color. Taking my Morphe Contour Palette, I'm gonna go in with the middle shade because it's actually a highlighter. Grabbing my Jaclyn Hill palette, again I'm going to go in with that chocolate color and just smoke out my bottom lash line. Taking that light color in the same palette, I'm just going to highlight the inner corner of my eyes and right under my brow bone. Here, I'm trying to create a little bit of an ombre lip with that classic red. So I started off with like a deep purple and then I'm going in with like a brick red liner. And then I'll be adding um, kind of like a berry colored lipstick and mixing it with um, Max Ruby Woo, which is like their classic red color. But I'll leave all the details below in the description box. As usual, I set my face with Mario Badescu Rose Water and then just some Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Okay guys, this is the final look. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope it was easy to follow. I think this look is so beautiful and so like romantic and ladylike. Definitely if you like this video, please thumbs up my video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new and I appreciate you coming over to show me love. Like I said, don't forget to head over to my cousin's channel, The Alicia C. I'll leave all her information down below as well as all the products that I use in this tutorial. That way you guys don't miss out on anything. And as usual, thanks for watching guys. Happy Valentine's Day.